Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Money Monday. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I got some static. Okay, you guys come on in. We have a few minutes before we get started. We're going to get started properly at 9 o'clock. Hopefully you all can hear me, uh, but I'll give folks an opportunity to come on. Um, yeah, and then we'll get started. That's on. Something going on with my AirPods. All right, let's give folks another 30 seconds or so, and then we'll be getting started. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy to be here with you guys again tonight on a Monday. So we'll give folks about another 30 seconds or so, and then we'll go ahead and, and jump right in. Tonight, we're talking about, uh, we're doing a 90-day money recap. And so that's what we're going to be covering tonight for Money Monday. So let's let's be patient. Hey, Candy, welcome to Money Monday. Okay. All right, let's, let's hop right in. So tonight we're going to be talking about our 90-day money sprint um, check-in. Now, if you recall back in October on Halloween, actually, the Money Monday idea was targeted towards a 90-day um, money sprint and it basically was setting you up financially for the next 90 days right so I talked about what to do in November what December looks like what January looks like so that by the time we get to the end of January and everybody else is has fallen off their resolutions we're in a good space right so let's talk about it we're about 45 days in in a couple days it'll be 45 days in but we're we're virtually halfway into our 90 day money reset and a lot of things have happened. So we won't cover November. Let's just talk about December and what that looks like. Um, I cannot believe it's been a month and a half already. Time is just zip, zip, zip it by. But anyway, okay. So one of the things that I talked about for December is your shopping list, right? So hopefully if you've been following along um, on this 90 day money sprint, you should be almost done with your Christmas shopping. If you are not, what are you waiting for? Christmas is in two weeks, right? So Hopefully you've, you're done. If not, it's time to get started. Now, if you are still shopping, what you want to focus on right now is your budget, right? Are you at your budget? What are your numbers? Are you there? Are you over? Are you almost there? Um, are you under your budget? You need to know what's going on with your budget when it comes to this Christmas shopping because after Christmas, you won't be able to reconcile it, right? And I kind of talked about this last week, but take this time um, and really look at your receipts and look at what you've purchased so far for Christmas and figure out where you stand in your budget. OK, this is the time to start reconciling after Christmas, after you give out the gifts, it's going to be too late. So if you have overspent, this is going to be the prime time for you to kind of go back and say, wait a minute, I overspent. Maybe I can cut here. Maybe I can cut there. Maybe I can take this back and get this instead. So do that now. OK, so that that covers Christmas. And Christmas gifts, that's out the way, right? Now we get, we're we getting into reflections. So typically what people do is they wait until January and then they start thinking back over the past year. And that's, that's not a bad way to do it. But for some reason, January 1st, it like resets our brains. I, I think we're just trained to start over and um, people forget, right? So start thinking about this past year, write down some things that you are proud of. What did you accomplish? What are you excited that you got done? Um, what did those goals look like? Did you reach those goals? Did you exceed them? Um, what are some areas of opportunity that maybe you could do a little better next year? What are some things you want to focus on next year that maybe you didn't get a chance to focus on this year, right? So start writing all of those things down. And then something else that you want to be doing right now is really looking at your spending, right? So we know inflation, everything is going up. Inflation is here. Um, what did that food budget look like, right? What did that shopping budget look like for the year? Start looking at those credit card statements and those um, bank accounts and start figuring out where your money went because that's going to tell you everything that you need to know. Hey, Miss Freddie, welcome to Money Monday. Who else do we have on here? I can't see anyone else. Okay. And then um, what you want to also do is start prepping for 2024. So the new year is going to be here in two weeks. 
start prepping now, right? So start thinking about some resolutions, things that you want to accomplish that maybe you've kind of been struggling with. Hey, Carla, welcome to Money Monday. Some things you've kind of been struggling with. Maybe you set a resolution this year and you didn't quite get there. Now's the time to start coming up your, with your game plan of how you're going to succeed this year. What are you going to do different? What are you going to do better? Start doing that now. Like I said, before our brains reset and we have on those rose colored glasses and you know, we're going to be a millionaire in 2024 and we're going to lose 50, 1500 pounds in 2024. So start doing it now. Something else that you can start focusing on before the end of the year is your vision boards. Um, most people wait um, <laughs> until after Christmas to start prepping for vision boards. So you'll go to the dollar store, Target or Walmart, wherever you get your items from. Things are sold out. You know, the magazines, everybody has snatched up the magazines. But if you start prepping now, then by the time we get to that point, you'll have the cream of the crop of the supplies and do what it is that you need to do. Right. So you can all, you can always do your vision board at home by yourself or you can find one. Go on Eventbrite, search Facebook, ask your family, ask your friends who's having a vision board party this year. There are always vision board parties. You just have to find one. Right now, you also want to be focusing on your money inventory. So start pulling your money inventory and what you need to create your budget for next year. Your money inventory, if you guys remember, is what I talk about in the Money Reset, my money course, my budgeting course, where I tell you and I teach you how to pull all the items that you need so that you can make a strong foundation for 2024 and you're not scrambling. So this is the prime time to start doing that. And then lastly, money goals. I touched on money goals last week and talked about their importance of setting them now and how they're going to help you not overspend. They're going to help you kind of stay here on earth with the rest of the humans this holiday season so you're not overspending. But this is the perfect time to start thinking about what you want to accomplish financially in 2024, right? And start setting those goals now. OK, so that's what you can do for the next 45 days so that when January 1st and two weeks gets here, you're starting off strong um, at the end of January. You can feel confident. You can feel secure. Now, I have a couple updates. Um, next week will be our official last Money Monday for 2023. We have met a lot. We've covered a lot of content. And I'm thinking about posting those videos on YouTube just so people can have a, a better access to them and they can go and access that content whenever they need to and it's at their fingertips and I'm, I'm going to add that one more thing to my to-do list that's growing by the second um but also in um next week I'm going to be talking about money goals so I just mentioned it I'm going to be doing a workshop we're going to walk through it um this is actually one of the modules that I have in my money reset course and I'm going to walk you guys through how I teach my students how to set their goals so on and so forth so we're going to do that next week and then we're going to segue um to the money reset so the money reset I've been talking about it for a couple weeks um for a couple months you guys have heard of it before but um, it's my money and budgeting course registration opens next week um on the 18th so I'm going to do the preview of our money uh, money goals, how I go through that module, and then I'm going to talk about the money reset. You'll have an opportunity to go to the website, look at the modules. Um, it's very sleek. If you don't have a budget or you don't know how to budget, you don't know how to manage your money, or you want to learn how to manage your money better, the course is for you. Um, in the course, I teach you how to create uh, your yearly budget in one step. Right. So we're going to sit down. We're going to walk through it. I'm going to teach you how to do it. We cover money goals. We cover the psychology behind money. I help you rewrite your money story um, and just all of these great items. You get mo several modules. Um, you get all of these tools that you could take and use. You get printables, just all of this great content. So that's um, opening for registration next week. So we'll talk about that next week. I'll preview the website. I'll release that link so you guys could have it. And then we'll do our money goals. OK, very short this week, um, did a lot of talking eight minutes in. But these are some things that you can start focusing on and continue to focus on for the next 45 days so that when January gets here, you're not behind the eight ball and you can hit the ground running financially. Right. So I hope this helped. Please, please, please do not go into debt this year trying to buy these kids gifts and gifts and gifts that they don't need, um, that they're going to lose, that they're going to break. Be more uh, wise and conscious of your spending. I love you guys. I hope you have a great week. I will see you next week for Money Monday. Have a good one. Bye.